This is the all-new Honda HRV. This is Honda's latest compact crossover. Does it have what it takes to compete in this very competitive and very crowded segment? Let's find out. So Honda is launching the HRV at the 1.3 to 1.6 million peso price bracket, which is very competitive right now. At this price bracket, you have of course the Chinese crossovers like the Cherry Tiggo 8 Pro, which offer luxurious interiors and cutting edge tech. You have European crossovers like the Peugeot 2008, which offer premium badge attraction. And you also have American slash Chinese hybrids like the Ford Territory which offer class-leading specs at a much lower price. The competition here is cutthroat, so the case for the Honda HRV has to be really compelling. In this video, we'll try to dissect what it is that makes the HRV appealing. But before that, let's do a walk around, starting with the exterior. So the front now looks cleaner and more mature looking. The lines are softer. It kind of reminds me of Mazda's Kodo design. So here at the center, you get this hexagonal grille. On the top of the line variant, it has this mesh-like pattern. The lower variant gets a different grill, which looks like this. So it gets these squinty LED headlamps with LED DRLs. We get this aggressive chin, which is partly in matte black and partly in gloss black. And down here, you get this very subtle detail, which you might easily miss. So on this chrome accent, you have this little kink, which is supposed to look like a heartbeat. You only get that on the top of the line turbo variant. Okay, so the new HRV has a coupe-like profile. Um, it looks long, it's slow slung, and it has a sharply sloping roof line. The lines are simple, they're straight, and they're horizontal, which emphasize the length of the car. Like you have this um, shoulder line, which runs from the front all the way to the back. So the top of the line variant gets these 18 inch wheels wrapped in 215, 60, or 17 tires. So at the back, it now gets an LED light bar instead of individual tail lamps. And it gets dual exhaust tips. If you open the manual lift gate, it reveals over 400 liters of cargo space, which is surprisingly good considering its sharply sloping rear window. And also that the tonneau cover is attached to the liftgate. Overall, the exterior looks better in person than in photos. When I first saw the pre-launch photos, I thought it looked a little too conservative, but I think its coupe-like profile makes it really stand out among crossovers in this price bracket. Okay, so we're now inside the new Honda HRV. So I feel like I've been spoiled by a lot of the recent crossovers that I reviewed. So it's hard for me to get impressed by a car's interior. I think this looks okay. Um, um, there are a few things here that stand out though. One would be this air diffuser on either side of the dashboard, uh, which I haven't seen on any car so far. So basically, it diffuses the air, so hindi masyado naka-focus masyado yung hangin para hindi masakit sa mata pag nakatapat sa mukha mo. So you have a horizontal theme going on here. You have these horizontal lines on the dashboard connecting the air vents. So it looks continuous over here. Um, so the dashboard is made of hard plastic. Yeah, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic. Uh, so the, the steering wheel is leather wrapped and you now get a lot of buttons here because the Honda HRV now comes standard with Honda Sensing on all their variants. You now get adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, um, automatic steering, etc. Hopefully we'll get to test those features when we get to test drive this. Hopefully in the near future. The turbo variant gets paddle shifters. The seats are leather wrapped, they're both manually adjustable. You get a leather wrapped armrest, which is also nicely padded. 
Yeah, you got the electronic parking brake, hill descent control, single zone climate control. Yeah, so it's, it looks okay. N nothing too impressive. If I had to nitpick, I'm not a fan of this infotainment screen right here. It looks like a, it looks like an old CRT TV. Um, it has this bulge at the back, so it looks like a, an old CRT TV. This is a 9-inch screen, I believe. Um, it has Apple CarPlay, it has Android Auto, it also has a reverse camera. You don't get a 360 camera like on some other vehicles in this price bracket. In terms of storage, you have two cup holders over here, which are pretty big. Um, the glove box is also of a decent size. So underneath the armrest, you have a decent storage. So here at the back, room is okay. I got decent lug room. Headroom, I have about two, two and a half inches. You get a foldable armrest. You get two air convents and two USB ports. Um, you have a cup holder here, which is a good place to have it because uh, on most cars, the cup holders are on the center armrest. And the thing is, if you have a third passenger, you can't access the um, cup holders. Okay, so the Turbo HRV gets the same engine as the Civic RS Turbo. So this is a 1.5 liter, four cylinder turbocharged engine. It produces 174 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. It's coupled to a CVT transmission. This is a very crowded market now, so some models are bound to get drowned out. So what the HRV has going for it is that it now has Honda Sensing standard and all variants. I've long been a proponent of active safety features like automatic emergency braking, and I'm glad that Honda now offers that as standard on all their variants. And while some competitors offer more features and nicer interiors, Honda offers heritage. Honda has quite a following here in the Philippines, especially among those who grew up in the 90s. And that following exists for a reason. They have a good track record for building cars that have a good balance of performance and reliability. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.